I do feel pretty optimistic about the Model 3. The key thing with the Model 3 is higher volume and um, a lower lower price. And it, it is a smaller car, um, but th the goal is to have a very compelling, affordable, you know, mass market electric vehicle. When designing the Model 3, Tesla engineers made a stunning choice. They abandoned the proven induction motors that powered the Model S and Model X and instead created something entirely new. The internal permanent magnet synchronous reluctance motor IPM Syn RM. By blending the fierce pull of permanent magnets with the subtle force of magnetic reluctance, Tesla built a motor with explosive low-speed torque and exceptional highway efficiency, solving problems that had long limited electric vehicles. The IPM Syn RM was such a breakthrough that Tesla quickly began fitting it into newer Model S vehicles too, setting a new standard for what an electric motor could be. The induction motor. Tesla's original powerhouse. To understand Tesla's innovation, it helps to first look at what they moved away from. The traditional Tesla Model S used an induction motor originally invented by Nikola Tesla. In this design, alternating currents from the battery flow through the stator windings, creating a rotating magnetic field, RMF. This field induces currents in the rotor's conducting bars, generating a force that spins the rotor and creates motion. Induction motors are robust and simple, but they have drawbacks for electric vehicles. They lose around 3 to 4% of energy just by creating rotor currents. More importantly, while they provide decent starting torque, they're not the most efficient for long-distance highway driving, where energy efficiency is critical. Permanent magnet motors, strong but with weaknesses. Permanent magnet motors offer an appealing alternative by using strong, fixed magnets in the rotor to generate magnetic fields directly, eliminating the need for induced currents. This results in high efficiency, especially at low speeds, and excellent starting torque for quick acceleration. However, at high speeds, they face a major issue. Back electromotive force, back EMF. As the rotor spins faster, the magnets induce a voltage in the stator that opposes the input voltage, reducing maximum speed and efficiency. Additionally, strong magnets can cause eddy currents in nearby materials, leading to heating and energy loss. While great for low-speed performance, permanent magnet motors are less suited for highway cruising, where Tesla needed to improve efficiency for longer range. Using reluctance to improve high-speed performance Tesla's engineers addressed this problem by turning to a different physical phenomenon, reluctance. Reluctance is the tendency of magnetic fields to prefer flowing through materials that are good conductors of magnetism, like iron, instead of poor ones, like air. Imagine a rotor made of iron with strategic cuts or slots. When the magnetic field rotates, the rotor naturally wants to line up with the magnetic field to minimize magnetic reluctance. In other words, it chases the magnetic field. This creates torque without relying on induced currents or permanent magnets. Motors based on this idea are called synchronous reluctance motors, or SYN-RMs. SYN-RMs offer high efficiency at high speeds and avoid the problem of back EMF almost entirely. However, their starting torque is relatively low, making them a less than perfect solution on their own for electric cars. Combining the best of both worlds. IPM Syn RM Tesla's genius move was combining these two technologies into one motor. In the Model 3's IPM S Y N R M, permanent magnets provide strong starting torque at low speeds, while the rotor's reluctance characteristics ensure efficient, high speed operation. To achieve this, Tesla embedded permanent magnets deep inside the iron core of a slotted rotor. This placement meant that the magnets were still effective, but shielded enough to reduce the amount of back EMF they generated at high speeds. At low speeds, the motor behaves mostly like a permanent magnet motor. As speed increases, the motor controller gradually shifts operation so that more torque comes from the reluctance effect, helping avoid back EMF limitations. Thus, the Model 3 motor offers powerful low-end acceleration and highly efficient highway cruising, exactly the balance needed
for a real-world electric car. How Tesla fine-tunes motor performance. The way Tesla controls the motor is just as important as its physical design. The Model 3's motor uses a sophisticated controller that adjusts the angle of the RMF rotating magnetic field relative to the rotor to optimize performance. At low speeds, the RMF is positioned about 50 degrees relative to the rotor's magnetic field, maximizing the torque output. As the vehicle speeds up, the controller changes the angle to weaken or even cancel out the magnetic field of the permanent magnets, reducing back EMF. At high speeds, the motor relies mostly on the reluctance torque. Because of this dynamic field control, the Model 3's motor can deliver smooth and powerful acceleration while maintaining high efficiency at highway speeds. Details about the motor design. The Tesla Model 3 uses a six-pole motor design, meaning the rotor has six magnetic poles instead of the more traditional four. More poles generally mean more torque production and smoother operation. Another interesting feature of Tesla's design is how the magnets are arranged. Instead of using solid magnets, Tesla splits each magnet into four smaller segments. This segmentation reduces eddy currents, small circulating currents that waste energy and cause heat, within the magnets themselves. By minimizing eddy current losses, Tesla keeps the magnets cooler, prevents them from losing strength over time, a problem called demagnetization and improves the motor's reliability. This attention to fine details in magnetic design is one of the reasons Tesla's IPM Syn RM motors perform better than earlier efforts seen in other hybrid vehicles. Tesla's not the first, but it's the best so far. It's worth mentioning that Tesla wasn't the first company to explore IPM Syn RM technology. Toyota used similar motors in the Prius hybrid decades earlier. However, the Model 3's motor is more advanced thanks to better magnet placement, improved cooling, and smarter control systems. What about the Model S? Since 2019, Tesla has updated the Model S with IPM Syn RM motors on the front axle. These newer motors achieve efficiencies as high as 96%, compared to about 94% for the older induction motors. Plus, because IPM Syn RM motors do not generate large currents inside the rotor, cooling them is much easier, leading to more consistent performance during aggressive driving. Overall, the combination of higher efficiency, better torque, reduced cooling needs, and improved high-speed behavior makes the IPM Syn RM motor a major step forward. Tesla's shift from induction motors to IPM Syn RM motors in the Model 3 marked a major leap in electric motor design. By combining permanent magnet and reluctance principles, Tesla created a motor with strong low-speed torque, excellent highway efficiency, and high reliability. This innovation not only boosted the Model 3's range and performance, but also lowered manufacturing costs, enhancing the competitiveness of electric vehicles against gasoline cars. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Tesla's motor design, be sure to subscribe for more insights into cutting-edge technology and engineering breakthroughs. Your support helps us create even more exciting content. Thanks for watching.